go to user home directory and let's go to desktop like that. And now here I want to demonstrate you how to create new directories and files. If you want to create new directory, you could use command mkdir that stands for make directory. And here next, after the space, I could type name for this new directory. For example, I'll create new directory called tmp. Now if I list files and folders on the desktop, I'll see tmp directory here on the list. And now, of course, I could cd to tmp. Now this directory is empty, but I could very easily create new files in this new directory. On Linux-like systems, I could use command touch. And here after touch, I could type name of the file, for example, file.txt. TXT is extension. And now there is new file.txt here inside of the TMP directory. On Windows, in order to create new file in the PowerShell, you could use command new-item, like that. Alright, that's how you could create new files and directories. Also, it's possible to remove files and directories using rm command. If I type rm and add here name of the file, for example, file.txt, this file will be no longer present here in the TMP directory. Alright, let's go one level up like that and remove TMP directory. Let me try rm command and type here TMP and now I get error. TMP is a directory. And if I want to remove directory, I need to use another option with rm command and it is option r. If I type rm-r and next will be name of the directory, I will actually remove directory and it will be no longer present here on the desktop. 